anyone can claim to be a big league pitcher with a freaky curveball and a blistering fastball. But to back it up, you need solid numbers in the ERA, strikeout, and home run columns. And the same is true for resumes. I'm Kat Miller, and this is Dice TV. On paper, most applicants look highly qualified. They use their resumes as a marketing tool with lots of action verbs to describe their capabilities and experience. So why don't they land more interviews? A lot of the time it's because they don't offer proof to back up their claims. Including metrics in your experience and accomplishment statements backs up your overall premise. It also allows reviewers to reach their own conclusions about your expertise. In other words, don't simply say you're an expert e-commerce specialist. Back up your claim with a data-rich example. Any project manager can claim to deliver on time. You should say you delivered phase one of a $3 million ERP project within the promised 90-day time frame at 70% of budget. How do you come up with these metrics? First, ask yourself why each one is significant. What improvements did you achieve? Who benefited from your work? What was the bottom line impact? Always link them to your company's success and quantify your business impact. Those results will transfer to other jobs and industries. Your project plan is a great source of metrics because it spells out what you needed to achieve and when you needed to achieve it by. Your bonus plan might be another source of indicators. If you don't have a written performance plan, compare the situation you inherited to its current state. That can help you quantify your improvements. Bottom line, validate your success by including data in each accomplishment statement and describe the specific outcomes that you achieved. I'm Kat Miller, this has been Dice TV, and we now return you to your regular desktop.